Hi, honey. How was your class? That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You've told me that this is what you wanted to do, and now you're getting to do it. Hey, is something wrong? You look a little down. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that there are still some people treating you badly because you're an echo. Right. I understand. They're not being mean or abusive. They just don't want to... let you in. I mean, into their groups. I mean, their friend groups. You know what I mean. Yeah, uh, not all of us humans are that way. No, not at all. I think you're the same. Well, not the same, but you deserve to be treated nice. I mean, you're a good person. I mean, cat. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Aw, thank you, honey. I like it when you call me cute, and I'm also happy that I can make you smile. Here, I'll hold your hand if that's okay with you. We'll walk back to your place past the beach. I know you like the view there. Being a cat in a human world isn't easy, is it? Yeah, I know how you feel. They either just sort of act like you don't belong, or some of them, even though they think they're being nice, just want to dote on you like a pet. It's demeaning. And even those that try to be normal still have trouble feeling like they're accidentally going to offend you at any moment. You wish they just feel free to treat you like everybody else. Uh, well, yeah, I do get it. Everyone feels like that at times. All of us. Humans still feel nervous and scared and shy at times. It's not just a necro thing to feel like everyone else is treating you like you're inferior or different. Thank you. I love you too, honey. You've been so sweet to me since we started dating. I mean, you were sweet to me before that. I just... You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I do kind of stumble around my words when I'm with you. No, that's not it. I am, I mean, yes, of course, like you a lot. And you really do make me feel... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you make me feel twitterpated, like I'm in Bambi. You definitely make me feel twitterpated. <laughs> what else do I mean? Well, it's just that I was a little scared of you at first. Well, not scared, but nervous. And no, 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 honey, you've been the kindest, nicest, most wonderful, caring person I've ever known. That's not an exaggeration. Really, you have been, and I love you so much, but... Here, let's sit on this bench and watch the waves come in while we talk. Yeah, we need to talk. There's been something I've been meaning to tell you for a while. What? No! I'm not breaking up. Honey, I love you. I, uh, I'm so sorry. When I said we need to talk, that's, that's not what I meant. No, no, honey. I love that you're a cat. I mean, I didn't at first, but now I do. I don't know why I didn't like it. I guess it was just... instinctive? Yeah. What do I mean by that? Look, honey. There's something I need to tell you about me. You know how I get it when you say you don't want to be treated differently around us humans? That you just want to be treated like the other students? And you know how... I know exactly where to scratch behind your ears for the best effect. Right here. Yeah, you like that when I scratch right here. It feels so good, doesn't it? Oh, 
does that make you want to purr? Well, you can if you want. I love your purring. That felt wonderful, didn't it? Yes, I know it did. I know exactly where to scratch to make you feel great. And I was initially, not anymore, but initially, a little instinctively concerned about you. Why? There's something you need to see. Yes, those are my ears. I've raised them up from where I had them folded down underneath my hair. I'm a mouse girl. What? You knew? You smelled me. Then why didn't you say anything? You let me reveal myself in my own time? That's so sweet. Honey, this is what I was talking about. You're so considerate and sweet to me. You always have been. It's one of the reasons why I love you so much. You go out of your way to protect me and make me feel loved. I love it when you just hold me. <laughs> yeah, you're adorably cute too. Well, yeah, when I first met you I was a little... No, I don't think scared is the right word. A little on guard, I guess. I mean, you're a cat and I'm a mouse. I hid my ears from you without thinking about it when I first saw you. I didn't mean to. It just happened. And then, when you introduced yourself to me and I could see how nice you were, I wanted to show you. But I felt like I'd trapped myself in a lie. And the more time we spent together, the more I started to like you. And then you asked me out on a date. And then after a few dates you told me you loved me and... Well, I kept feeling like if I showed you who I really was, you'd... You treat me like you feel those other students are treating you. You're really okay with it? Of course I am. Yes, you're a cat, but I do feel safe with you. I do love you, and I know you love me. Really? You would? I've been wanting that ever since you asked me out, but I was too afraid to reveal who I was just yet. Please do that. Oh, yes. Scratch right there behind my ears. No, don't stop. This is wonderful. I'm glad you've been wanting to do this for a while now. Can I cuddle up on your lap so you can use both hands? Oh, thank you, honey. <sighs> Don't you think it's beautiful right here? The tide coming in so peaceful. Yes, your lap is so warm and soft. I could stay here cuddled up until the sun went down if you'd let me. The truth is, I could probably stay here all night. You're so good to me. I feel safe and protected with you. Honey, please tell me the truth. Does it feel strange at all to you to have a mouse for a girlfriend? Yeah, I feel the same way about you. I do understand how it's going to look to other people, but I don't care. I just want to stay here cuddle up with you forever. Oh, honey. Your hands feel so good on my back right now. You always know just what I need and how to make me feel better. No, I wasn't sad or anything like that. But I was a little nervous about letting you know who I really was. Okay, I was more than a little nervous. Truth is, I was frightened that you would think it was too weird and want to leave me. I love you so much, honey. I'm so glad you want to stay with me. I want to be yours, I really do. Thank you, honey. Your hands are so gentle and reassuring. 
You have such a loving touch. <laughs> yes, I think that's a good idea. You can shift your area of study and your field of expertise to making me happy. I think that's a noble profession and an honourable cause to pursue. There's something you need to tell me too? Oh, no. Are you really worried about this? Or are you about to say something crazy like your ears are fake and you're actually human? What did you say? Really? Oh, honey, do you mean it? You're not joking. You... You want me to move in with you? Of course I will. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> yes, this will give you all the time in the world to pursue a new course of study. Me. If that's what you want, we can start classes right now. Let's head back to your place. I mean, let's head home. And you can start lesson one. I'm all yours. <laughs>